This video is brought to you by my buds at Commonwealth Press. Contact them at cwpress.com for all of your t-shirt and printing needs. Hey, what's that? You need a sticker printed for your business? For your little league team? Oh, they can do that too. You don't have a design or logo? Oh, boy. Go over to cwpress.com, tell them you need one, tell them John Bear is your bud. Just go over to cwpress.com. Welcome back there, buds. Today, we're going to talk about getting buff. Not buff like the Hulk when he fights a bear in that pond. And if you've never seen that, it is the greatest one minute of television history in all of time. Please watch it. I put the link in the description. Anyways, we're gonna buff furniture. So let's get in here and take a look at this tabletop of this dining room table that I recently finished refinishing. And I thought it would be a pretty good time to talk about buffing with my buds. So let's check it out. Here is this dining room table opened up so I can buff it. This is the buff side. This is the unbuff side. I don't know. I'm going to test this here just to see if you can hear the difference. Maybe. Has a little bit of a grittiness from that finish. So smooth doesn't really have any grittiness to it at all. It gets rid of all the little nibs and any of that little dust or overspray or whatever could be in there. And I think it looks a lot better. It has more of a fine antique finish. I mean, it looks like it's been there for 50 years instead of brand new. And these unbuff finishes kind of tends to look a little bit plasticky or something like that. So let's get in here. I'm going to show you how I go about getting rid of those little nibs and buff it out. I begin by wetting the surface with water on the table and on the sandpaper to give it a nice lubricant to sand with 2000 or higher grit sandpaper. I sand with extremely light pressure. This is just removing any high spots on that finish. I'm just sanding going back and forth until I can tell by the feel as well as the sound when it's time to stop. After the sanding, I just wipe it off with a clean rag. Here's the buffer that I'll be using. It is a 10 inch random orbital. I prefer these over the high speed ones because you can't burn through your finish, at least not as easily. I put a link in the description if you'd like to purchase one of your own. These are the bonnets that I will be using. Everything from the synthetic microfiber to the fleece and the wool. I think it's a synthetic. I don't think any sheep were harmed in this process, hopefully. And followed up with a lot of terry cloth towels, using a lot of clean ones to wipe off any of that excess residue between each step. I will be using this rubbing compound to bring this table to a nice shine. I start by applying a line of the buffing compound across the pad of the buffer and then I set that buffer about in the middle of where I'm working and you want to start on the slowest speed or else you could have a mess. Then with some light pressure it's as easy as working in circles, back and forth, figure eights, whatever you will choose and just easing up on the pressure i like to go until i start to see a little bit of a shine you can tell when the compound's starting to dry and that's when you want to stop and wipe it clean steps two and three the exact same thing over and over i think this might be the one thing that people dislike the most about finishing work and woodworking is that a lot of it is the exact same monotonous steps over and over and over but trust me on this one that's exactly 
what gets you a good professional result. You need to take the extra care and time or you just won't see the good results. Sometimes it's okay to take a little break when you're doing this kind of monotonous work. You get your pup out there, you take a nice fall drive, get him out for a hike and a run. It's a good day, bud. Now we're back at it with that third wool bonnet for the third step in this buffing process. I'm going to let this time lapse play out here so you can see what I mean by that rubbing compound drying out to the point where you need to wipe it clean. This whole process took around five minutes. And then, last but not least, I just wipe it down with some wood cleaner polish and a terry cloth towel. Well, buds, now that this table is buffer than Schwarzenegger circa 1979, Probably when he would have been in his prime, maybe. It's time to take this puppy home. As always, remember to like, comment, and share. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you can follow along. Ring that bell so you're getting notified when I post these ridiculously stupid videos. And thanks for watching. Stay safe. And we'll see you next time, buds.